did you hear that? It sounded like I was at Quality Control Day at the Singer Sewing Machine Factory. Guys, my name is Rick and this is the HD Vibe Channel. And in today's video, we're actually gonna fix this sound and make it sound more like we expect the sound to come from a Harley Davidson Touring Motorcycle. Guys, these Harley Davidson Touring Motorcycles, they come with these heavy breathers, whether it be this one like this, the snorkel type, or the ventilators, but the thing that stops them up, you get plenty of air in, but what closes them up is those slip-ons. So in today's video, we're gonna put some new slip-ons on. I'll show you what we're gonna put on there, but that's not really the important part. That's pretty simple. Just a few bolts, pull off the old ones, put on the new ones, pretty simple. But stay tuned. I'm actually going to tune this motorcycle to get a stage one with a tuner that you've probably never seen and then I'm also going to do some comparisons between the stock exhaust and then the new exhaust with the stage one and we'll get into all that right after this. So that's right guys, a couple different parts of this video. So first off, we're gonna change out these slip-ons and we're actually gonna be putting on Reinhardt DBX 45s. My pipe of choice, so I'm gonna let you guys listen to those here in a little bit. Um, and then we're actually going to tune this motor. So I'll show you this tuner that you've probably never seen before. It's only been out for probably three or four months at this point at the time of recording this video. Um, and then we're gonna do some comparisons from stock, just some, idle and running and starting to actually some out on the road. So you can compare these Reinhardt DBX 45s that we'll get on here to the stock slip-ons. So to start this, um, I've actually got this um, deep well socket here. Um, this is actually a, I believe a 15 millimeter. Um, I, the 5 8 fits on there, um, but a 9 16 is too small. So I actually went metric of 15 millimeters. So it's just this clamp that's right under here. Once we get that loose, then we'll begin to work on the back of the slip-on. So that was pretty simple. So now that I've got that pipe clamp loosened up, now I'm gonna move back here to the two half inch that are on the saddlebag support bracket. We'll take those out and then this slip-on should just come right off. Okay, so these are half inch, so we're just gonna loosen these up. Coming off here pretty easy. So as easy as that, we've got the three bolts loosened and now this slip-on, stock slip-on, is ready to be jiggled off here. So we're just going to jiggle back and forth and I'm hoping since this hasn't been on here very long, it's probably going to come right off, which it looks like it is. And there you have it. We've got it off. Here's that pipe clamp. We'll reuse that. Um, so I'm going to loosen this up and pull this off of the end of this stock slip-on. We'll reuse that. As I look through these, I can't even see through this thing. It is just completely closed off. So as easy as that, I've got the right side off, and now I'm gonna just repeat and pull the left side off, and then we'll be ready to put the DBX 45s on. Okay, and so as you can see, here's the Reinhardt DBX 45s all boxed up. So let me get this stuff out, and I'll show you what we got in the box. So that's what we get in the box. We get a left and right uh, slip on, obviously. The left side has the smaller inlet. The right side has the larger inlet. Um, they did send uh, the bolts and uh, nuts and washers that we need for that because I think these are actually a little bit longer because the way these go on uh, Reinhardt's is a little bit different. The, the bolts don't go directly down into, they actually come up and then you put a, a nut and washer on the top. Obviously it has instructions and we get a nice Reinhardt racing sticker with it. So now that we've got everything unboxed here, um, the process is pretty simple. We will, will reuse the pipe clamps that uh, came on the bike stock to uh, attach the slip onto the header, um, but we'll just basically reverse the process. So for comparison purposes, um, the stock slip ons and actually a lot of others, Vance and Heinz I'm familiar with, the bolts actually go down through the bracket that's on the saddlebag support and then go into a bracket that's on the um, that's actually on the slip-on um, so you have a threaded hole here where you put the the bolt and the washer into so by contrast on the Reinhardt's these actually just these bolts actually just slip on and slip into this little groove that's on these and that's the bracket and then that actually then comes up through that bracket that's on the saddlebag support 
And then on top of that, you'll put the washer and it's a, a lock, a lock nut that goes on top of that. So that's the way that goes on there. So now I'm going to actually just start on this uh, right side slip on to show you this Reinhardt slip on. Um, as you can see there, I think in the camera, you can actually see straight through this thing. Um, so no much better airflow um, to actually get the stage one performance that we need because we are getting more flow out the back of the bike. So I've got it on there. So now just gently move it into place. So I've got the bracket on there. So now you're just going to slip a washer over that. And then these are actually um, nylon lock nuts. So we'll get that started. And then we'll do the same on this back one. You're going to kind of have to put some pressure on that to make sure that that doesn't slide. And then make sure you get that the right way up and then kind of pull that slip on up. And then once it catches, those bolts in there won't spin anymore. Now we're ready to tighten these rear bolts up. And again, those are half inch. So I'll tighten those up, tighten up this hose clamp. That slip on will be ready. And then I'm just going to repeat the process on the other side. Okay, so now we got the DBX45s on. Now it's time to tune this bike and turn it into a stage one. Again, we've got the high flow breather and now we got exhaust that'll actually get that air moving out of the bike. So now we gotta adjust the tune. And in order to tune it, we need to get to this little red connector. And again, this is on the left side of the bike. The left cover came off. Um, this red connector, this is what goes directly to the ECM. And if you ever take your bike into Harley Davidson, that's where they'll hook the digital technician up to check any codes on the bike, et cetera. So I'm actually just gonna pop this off. So to pop this off, you just there's a little tab here, you just press it, and then you should be able to just pull this off of this holder. And that's just a dummy holder just to keep it in place. So this is the, uh, the connection directly to the ECM. So now I'm going to get the tuner, which I'm going to show you. And again, this is something that you probably have never seen in the marketplace. Just came out in the last couple of months. So here's the tuner, guys. Uh, a light little box that says Screaming Eagle. That's right. This is the Pro Street tuner. Um, and this is actually the Bluetooth version that came out within the last, like I said, last couple of months. Um, so what you get in there, obviously the tuner's in here. Um, you do get a little double-sided sticky tape because this can just stay on the We also have a set of instructions in here, but really it's pretty straightforward. I'm going to show you how to use this thing. Um, I, I think it's pretty similar to what the old FP3 or now I think Vance and Hines has the FP4. Uh, but obviously if I use this tuner, um, this will keep me within warranty because as you know, I do have the two-year warranty since this is a new bike. Plus I did do the ESP for another three years. And then you get this Screaming Eagle sticker, which I'm not exactly sure where I would put that, but we'll just keep that in the box. So we're at the point of no return. I've just taken off the label that says, if you take that off, it's non-returnable. All right. And there it is, guys. Look at that thing. Tiny, tiny. Um, if you compare that to the, uh, the previous version of the Screaming Eagle tuner, the Pro Street tuner, um, I'll actually show you that real quick. And for comparison, this is the Pro Street Tuner that I have for the Rogue Glide Special. I actually got this one right before this version of the Pro Street Tuner came out. So as you can see, um, quite a bit smaller and obviously that's why it actually can stay on the bike. The nice thing about this new version is you don't need a, a cable or your computer to tune with this. So essentially all we need to do is plug this in. Um, you do need to download an app, which I'll show you that on my phone in just a minute. Okay, so the app you need to download, you can see here is on my phone. It's actually the Screaming Eagle Pro Street Tuner app. You download this app either in the Apple or the Play Store uh, if you have Android. So it works on Apple or Android uh, smartphones. So now I've got this downloaded. So now I'm actually ready to connect it into the bike. So again, here's the, uh, the tuner. Um, there's only one way to connect this in here. Um, and you just hear a click when it's connected. So now what I'm going to do is open up the app on my phone. We got our Bluetooth connection on. So now it's searching for, it's searching for the tuner. 
So it searched for the tuner, it actually found it. It says mobile scan 45098. I'm assuming that's the tuner that we have plugged in here. I'm not sure if there's any denotion on here. Let me see. I don't see that on there, but we'll see if this works. So then we're gonna hit next. Select that. Firmware update. Okay, so we're gonna update the firmware. So now it's updating the firmware. It says do not turn off the ignition uh, or don't unplug the BCI, uh, the tuner essentially. So it's gonna go ahead and update the firmware. You see on the little tuner here, it's uh, flashing a greenish yellowish light. So I'm assuming that means it's updating the firmware. My uh, phone, the app still shows, it's probably about 50% updated now. I've been going probably a couple minutes. Okay, and then when it's, uh, the update's complete on the firmware, you'll get a screen like this on your phone, and we're gonna hit done. Now we're gonna go to tune, and we're gonna go to standard. In this case, so we wanna go with this first one. This is the, again, configuration of Milwaukee 8 117 Stage 1 Screaming Eagle air filter, which it has the high flow breather, and Screaming Eagle exhaust. Um, I have the Reinhardt DBX 45s on there. So we view that. And this says it's for a 16 to 19 inch front wheel, not a 21. And then it gives you the air fuel ratios that it has set for all of these at the different RPMs, different uh, miles per hour. So we're gonna go ahead and hit this button. It says program with this calibration. Keep your phone near the bike. Uh, when reflashing the motorcycle, ensure the phone is within 20 feet. Direct line of sight, we'll hit okay. Warning. That make sure this calibration has been choosing to match your vehicle's installed hardware, which we know that. We're at stage one. And it then again gives you the warning of the calibration is good for a 16 to 19 inch front wheel. Okay, we got that. And then what it says is it gives my VIN number and tapping this program motorcycle will initiate the program. So we're going to do that. So now it's calibrating the vehicle. So it's gonna go through a number of steps and I think there's probably gonna be a portion where I have to turn the bike off for a little bit, a few seconds, turn the bike back on um, once this all downloads into that. And there you probably just heard the bike turn itself on. Okay, so before continuing, you must turn off the vehicle, ignition switch and the run stop switch. So we'll go ahead and turn it off, wait 20 seconds and then turn the ignition switch and the run stop switch. Okay, so that's about 20 seconds. So we'll turn the ignition back on and turn the run stop switch back on. And I believe that is it. Um, so the bike is basically tuned now. Um, and ready to go. So actually, um, with this tuner, you can actually see any air codes. So, we do have an air code here, a historic one, a P1100 ABS indicates torque control fault. So let's clear that code. Okay. We'll go back and then let's see data. So this is the other nice thing too. It actually gives you some uh, view into some of the data currently. So the engine temperature right now is still at 118 degrees because it was running earlier. Um, throttle position, six. You can also auto tune with this. So if you go into the tune, we select the one that we actually have on the bike now. You can do perform a smart tune. Um, so we're not gonna do that right now. I'm so we're actually gonna run a few tanks uh, of gas through this because actually the bike will adjust itself to the new tune over time. So now we've got a stage one tune um, on here and we are now ready to go get this thing out on the road, hear what these Reinhardts sound like and see how this bike performs. So I'm gonna get this thing out and we'll give it a startup and let you guys hear what that sounds like.
right guys, so I hope you were able to hear the difference between uh, the stock exhaust without a stage one, just completely stock, and the stage one with the Reinhardt DBX 45s. Um, if the camera didn't do it justice, I will tell you the sound output is incredible on the DBX 45s. And with that tune, to go to the stage one tune, the throttle response is much crisper than it was before. It was actually a little bit lazy uh, when it was in stock configuration. So a lot more upgrades to do on the Street Glide ST, as I mentioned in the video just prior to this. Um, we've got a lot of custom dynamics. We've got Memphis Shades. we got Saddlemen to talk about. Um, we got some Hogwarts stuff coming in. Um, you heard the Reinhardt DBX 45s. Um, so guys, if you like this type of content, please give it a thumbs up. Also, share this with your friends. Um, if you're anyone is considering these DBX 45s, check this video out. Go back to those clips. Um, I also had a video out uh, when I compared the 117 Stage 1 on the CVO to the 114 Stage 2 on the Road Glide Special. There's a lot of sound clips in there where you can hear those. Those are Reinhardt DBX 45s. That's all I have on the bikes right now. Um, I think great sound um, and talking to the master tech uh, at Gateway Harley-Davidson, you get good performance out of those pipes as well um, with the Harley-Davidson tune. So uh, very pleased with that. So share that with your friends. Um, also, if you haven't subscribed to the channel and this is your first time here, or you've seen some of my other videos and just haven't hit that subscribe button, I ask that you please consider hitting that subscribe button. And if you do subscribe, please leave a comment down below saying I subscribe so I can personally reach out and thank you for supporting the channel. Also, leave some comments down below. What do you think about the DBX 45s? What do you think I should do in terms of an upgrade? Should I just do the cam, the 462 cam, or should I go to the big bore kit? Um, you know, I'm weighing the cost benefit of that. Um, am I gonna get much more bang for the buck if I go to a big bore? or I go to a 131, the 131, you do lose some low end torque, which is usually where I'm running in that 2500 to you know 4000, maybe 4200 RPM. Um, that 131 cam is a really high lift cam and you lose a little bit of low end torque, but you get a lot more horsepower on the back end. So uh, things to think about there. So leave some comments down below um, if you guys have considered that or done any of that. Um, and also, if you do subscribe, um, I've got over 160 videos on tips, tricks, rides, reviews, and installs on these Harley-Davidson Touring Motorcycles, which now I feature a 2021 CVO Street Glide, a 2021 Road Glide Special, and now the 2023 Street Glide ST. Go back and check out all those videos. Um, and with that, guys, I'm going to leave you with this. Life is short. Get out and ride the bike. Thanks for stopping by, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye now. Bye.